everybody and welcome to Paper Wishes Vlog. I'm Lene Gehrig and today I'm really excited to bring you from our friends at Simply Made Crafts this toy box collection of dies and stamps. So let me go through each of these and show you all these. This is the Toy Box Tags die set. They have little loops on them for hanging. They're adorable. We used these on all the projects today. This one is the Hang Your Stocking die set. So I'm going to show you these projects here. This is one of them that my friend Debbie made. It's the cutest little box. Look how adorable. And it's using one of those little tags. Really cute. I'm going to show you how to make this. The Sleigh Bells Ring die set makes this wonderful little freestanding sleigh. Also uses one of the little tags. So cute. And also I should mention the Sentiment Stamp set is used on the back of all of these. Um, okay, we did that one. And then the All Aboard die set, which is the cutest little train, and it has all these little compartments and, bo and little boxes within that. There's actually three boxes on this one. Isn't that a cute little tag? It's adorable. All right, so let's get right to this, and I'm going to show you this how to make these first boxes. So these are great little stocking boxes. These were all designed by Helen Griffith. She is just having Helen Griffin. She's my favorite die designer. She does such a great job. This one can actually be made into a box as well. Helen does a really great, very comprehensive video on how to put all of these together. Well, at least how to put together um, the stocking one. So I'll make sure that that is attached. That video that Helen did is attached on our product page for this die set as well as in the supply list for this. So if you um, are watching us on our vlog page, just click on the little thing below the video that says photo gallery and then if you click on the photo for these, you'll see Helen's video as well. It's also on YouTube so you can just check that out. All right, so let me show you all these little pieces, all the little dies for the stocking are amazing. There's 24, there's 22 dies and then it says 24 elements. So that means some of these dies have more than one thing on them. All right, so you get the stocking shapes, okay, to do this shape. And then you get this great little like toothy piece here and that's gonna be the sides of the boxes. Here are the cuffs. I love that everything has a mirror image, okay? So that is really nice to get your, your left and your right sides. And then for stockings that have a little bit more detail on them, like this one has some cutaways on it. You've got this one. And then these are these beautiful little details right here. Also mirror images of those. You've got the little toes and heel pieces. And then this is the mechanism that um, opens the box at the top. And then here are some more of those little detail pieces. And then you've also got this die goes here so that you can actually put a little pattern piece of paper on the top of your lid if you'd like. And then these are little box dies for Christmas, which I think are just super adorable little added accents. And then this little piece right here, which is so tiny, that can go right here on your stocking and that can make it a hanging piece so that you can put these on the Christmas tree or hang them in a garland. Very, very cute. All right, so those are all the pieces. And I'm gonna show you first. Okay, so we've got our pieces here our left and front and back pieces. Then you're going to need four of these pieces right here. I lost one of my pieces. Oh, here it is. <laughs> All right, here's one already glued together. So these side pieces you have to do a little bit of prepping on. So you want to go like this to make sure all of your little teeth are curved. Okay, so you do that on both sides. And then you're gonna take, this whole thing can be put together using glue. I love to use um, this Cosmic Shimmer Specialist Acrylic Glue. It really grips and has great drying properties to it. So I love it. 
All right, so you're just gonna line those up like this. So you're gonna need two of these pieces for every stocking. All right, and then you're going to have a front piece. So once your, your structure is made, then you're going to decorate a piece and glue that on top. All right, so let's start with the decorative piece. All right, so we've got, oops, whoops, whoops. All right, so this is gonna go on the front of our little box. And I'm just gonna quickly add some glue here just to get these pieces down. Oops, there we go. And then you've got your little, Oh, I need to get this one up. All right, fortunately I have another one right here. Yeah. Didn't go up far enough. There we go. Right there, and then we've got our little heel piece right here. And then we've got our little toe piece. And I love how they're embossed with the little stitches. There we go. And then we're gonna wait to put the little cuff pieces on until the end. But you'll notice that on my cuff pieces, I've got the little hangers, that little piece that I showed you to make a hanger. We're gonna put that on towards the end. So we're gonna move this over. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start by gluing those little teeth on here, just like this. Oh, don't you know it? I messed up on that one. <clears throat> Helen suggests doing it this way. That's why we have the cover on it. All right, so I'm just going to start with this one. All right, so there. Glad I caught myself. All right, so now we're just gonna keep going around this side. And I like doing it this way because I can see that all my teeth are getting glued in that fashion. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. We're gonna take a little break. And then when I come back, you're gonna see that this is all magically glued. Okay, so as you can see, I've glued everything. Um, all the little teeth are glued down. And on the back side here, don't, don't worry, because this is all gonna get covered up with cute little stuff. You went ahead and glue your pretty topper on top of that. See, it just takes care of all kinds of horrible uh, glue spots and things like that. Plus this glue dries clear, so. Okay, so we're gonna glue that. Make sure we get right up to the edges. Okay, I like to kind of soften that edge a little bit so it doesn't come squirting out on you. All right, so now, take that glue that right down. So that's why we're cutting out four of these stockings so that we can do the base and then we're covering, covering that part up. All right, so now, while we've got that piece drying, remember this little topper piece, this is <clears throat> the little piece that is our little lid, okay? A little opening slot. So that piece, you can either glue it to open this way or open this way. So I'm gonna have it open same way that Debbie made hers. Okay. And just glue just this part right in the front. And while that's drying, I wanted to show you that on uh, Debbie's, her little detail pieces right here, she used suede paper. Okay, it's so pretty, has wonderful texture to it. You can die cut it just like regular paper. You can stamp on it, you can emboss it. And that's why the, all these little embossed stitches and everything look so perfectly nice on there. So this is, happens to be the color tomato. It's like a tomato red. All right, so we've got our little box drying there. And now let's fold that up, little lid, and that gets tucked right in there. And you open it like this. Very clever, very easy to do. All right, so the last thing we're gonna be doing then is putting our little cuffs on. Um, Debbie glued hers down closer to the edge here, 
And then I noticed on Helen's video, she glued hers up a little bit farther. And I think it's sort of to cover up the little box, the little hinge inside. And it also makes your um, stocking look taller. There we go. And then don't forget, you're gonna be decorating the reverse side of this as well. So it's double-sided box. There you go. And then because we've got this little hanger on here, we can go ahead and just hang this with a little piece of ribbon. You could just, oops, there go. You could put this piece of ribbon through both sides like this, and then tie the ends and hang it like this, or you could just hang it through one. It would also look really pretty hanging on a garland, really cute. And then I also wanted to mention, don't forget, you can make use this box to make shaped cards as well. So for this one, here's the fold on my paper. And then I went ahead and just put my edge of my die just outside the edge of the fold. So here's the fold. It's just about an eighth of an inch past the fold so that the fold stays intact on that. And then you can just decorate it like you would the box. So it's pretty versatile. You can even use some of your cute little tags in other ways as well. Wouldn't these make adorable little Christmas tree ornaments? Okay, so as you can see, these are really fun, adding your little greetings and things like that to make these adorable little three-dimensional little gift boxes. So this adorable little Sleigh Bells, um, Sleigh Bells Ring die set. Um, for this one, Debbie used silver linen paper, and then she also used the tomato red suede paper for the little swirly details. And then this little, right here, these little garland of jingle bells, she used metallic gold paper. And all of those are available at paperwishes.com. Once again, got the cute little tag, which I need to remind myself, here we go. I didn't ever show you these little tag dies. And they are just adorable. Here's the little sleigh. And they just have all these charming little pieces right here. Very, very cute to make all of these. This is definitely one I'm going to put on my list because I like making cute little gift tags. All right, so for this particular one, this has got 14 dies. And once again, they're all mirror image dies, or not all of them, but most of them are mirror image dies. So um, when watching Helen's video, which we will attach um, on the product page for this, as well as on the supply list for this particular project, um, Helen suggests using several layers of cardstock so that this is a really sturdy piece. So this is what Debbie did on her first layer. I'm gonna show you how to put this together using the uh, Gold Sparkles holographic paper. So the first thing we do is we die cut using these base pieces, the left and right pieces from holographic. And so because holographic paper is a little bit more expensive, it's, it is thicker. It's a very thick um, cardstock. We also just want to put the core pieces that you're not going to see um, in between those. And this is just plain white cardstock. So, so Debbie left little notes on some of these for me. So we're gonna glue all of these together. And the most important tip I can give you when gluing these together is make sure all the pieces are plumb. Make sure those edges are glued correctly. And I just do that by kind of squaring up the edges of the die like this. So that way they are correct. And we're gonna put together one side and then the other. This part, there we 
Now this one, because it's a color difference, we'll be able to tell if all of those edges aren't squared up a little more easily. Yeah. Looks good. All right, now we can turn this over. Make sure everything is flat. We're going to put glue on this side. All right. There. Now really, that's probably the trickiest part right there. The rest of this, we're just going to take step by step. And um, you can see how it all goes together. As I said, getting those pieces plumb and lined up correctly, that's really, really important. All right. Uh, I'm going to glue this piece right here as well. Oh, and that goes right on top. These scrolly bits are really, really beautiful. This is the part that Debbie die cut from the tomato reds um, suede paper. All right, so once you get these pieces done, you're going to go like this, okay? So I'm just going to be working from this one piece here. It's actually even a good idea is when you've got these pieces glued together, just stick them under a heavy book and let them dry for half an hour. And then I think you're going to be happy with no warping and things like that. All right, so we've used all of these pieces. So we're done with those. All right, now we're going to be, there is a little, oh, I forgot to show you the best part. I can't believe I forgot you this. This little guy has a little drawer. Isn't that adorable? It's perfect for a little bit of cash or some, uh, maybe a gift card to go in there. Look at that. That's just so cute. A little detail on the front. So the next thing we're going to be doing is, is putting our drawer in. But we're going to be putting in this little piece is sort of the drawer holder. It's going to be what the drawer is sliding in and out of. Okay, so we're going to turn our pieces over like this. And um, because this part of this holographic paper is kind of slippery, it'll take extra time to dry with the glue. I'm just using strips of extra sticky tape. Okay, just to sort of um, condense time. But you get it in a big roll like that from Paper Wishes. <clears throat> and you just want to make sure that um, everything is going together. You're going to go ahead and put this, this edge right here, is going to go along the bottom edge of the inside part of the sleigh. Okay. And as I said, the glue would work perfectly fine, but we're in a hurry and I don't want to take the time for it to dry. I should mention the reason that Helen Griffin recommends using um, the four layers of paper is so that when this is done, this is really, really sturdy, okay? And it's not gonna bow and, you know, fall apart and it's gonna be, it's meant to be handled, okay? All right, so we have this part done. And now this die, so that little drawer piece was this part right here. So we've used that. And now we're going on to this piece right here, which makes the bed of the sleigh. Okay, and I went ahead and put tape on the back of this as well. <laughs> so I think what we're, do we're gonna do is we're gonna cut here until I get all my tape off, because that's boring. Okay, so I've got all my tape backing off. Once again, this is something that you can do with glue. Um, I just didn't wanna take the time for it to dry. All right, so one of the things that Debbie did um, that she wanted me to point out is because the back of this paper, it's not double-sided, 
she needed to add a little bit of the same paper here. So what she did was is she cut this again and then just took just this part and glued it here. And then this portion, we're gonna leave white because we want this great little guy to show up on the front. So it's, it just depends on if you're using what kind of paper you're using. So for this piece right here, we're going to put them in. This bottom edge is gonna go right along the top of this edge right here for the drawer. So we're just gonna lay this right down. And we're just gonna align those two edges just like that. Okay, and then the same right over here, but it's a little trickier because we can't flay it open like we did the other ones. Okay, that's done. All right, now we've got these side pieces for the front and the back, and we want to anchor those just inside this little line right here. Just like that. Okay, see where we're going here? It's looking like a sleigh. And then this piece, this front piece, so we don't want it to extend past the front of the sleigh, so you want to put it just inside where the sleigh was. I mean, the front of the sleigh. All right, look. Okay, so essentially, we've got this part, you know, looking really, really good. So now we're gonna take this little beautiful piece, and it's very delicate scroll work. We're gonna glue that right there to the front. All right. So now we've got our back piece there, ready to put our little pocket in there. Here's our drawer. Okay, we're done with this piece, with the inside piece. So now we have this drawer piece. This piece was just opened like this, had little tabs, and then Debbie went ahead and just assembled it just like that. So now we've got our little drawer. And they've also got these cute little tab pieces right here that you can put on your drawer. And this mirror image piece right here for your jingle bells, right there. Now let's make sure that our drawer fits in here. You could also um, line your drawer just like with extra paper that Debbie did. Oh, mine's fitting tight, but it does fit. There we go. I think it just needs to work out a little bit. Yeah, I like it. All right, so that's gonna go right there. Then there's this extra little piece right here, okay? And this piece is just in case you have some wonky business going on down here for your um, runners on your sleigh, you can put little reinforcements there, okay? But I mean, this feels very sturdy for me, so I don't feel like I need to have those down here. But if you're using a different weight paper or something, you might wanna consider doing that. All right, so as you can see, not hard to put together, okay? Just get all your pieces, die cut, um, and just follow along and it gets together and pretty pleased with how sturdy that is too. All right. Hi everybody, I'm back with the train. So let's take a closer look at this little guy. It is so cute. If you have a train lover in your house or know of somebody, this is the one for you. It has got a little pocket right there and one right here. Uh, there we go, <laughs> right there. And then it's got another little hidden one in the smokestack. How adorable to fill this with all kinds of little treats. I love this, that's a Santa Express. And uh, I'm gonna show you how to put this together. So this particular one has 33 dies and 34 elements. So one of the elements I think does double duty here. These are the main dies for the structure. So let's start off by, looks really complicated, but really what it is is a large box and a medium box assembled and stuck together. So let's start with the boxes. Okay, this one's for the box base. This one's for the box top. For the box base, 
You just die cut that one time for the larger portion right here. All right, and we're just gonna fold up the sides. It's got flaps. Everything is scored and ready to go. I'm gonna take a little bit of glue and just go around our box to assemble. And in case you didn't know, this is just black cardstock, but you, how cute would it be to make a red train? Very, very cute. And so this is black cardstock, and then the little um, layered pieces, decorative pieces, are cut from metallic silver. I'll show you in a moment. I'm gonna let that dry for just a second. So here's the metallic silver. This isn't cardstock, this is a paper, so that's why it's great to have a nice little cardstock base to that. You can get all of this at Paper Wishes. So here we've got this. Now we also want to make a lid. So we have our lid piece. Okay, I'm actually going to need two of these lids because the boxes, one's small, one's medium. There go. They are made in the same way. Oh, I put that on the wrong side. So this flap is going to go in, inside the long flap. Take a little shortcut here. There we go. And this one. Well, so much for my shortcut. There we go. All right, and this will hold better if you just like pinch each one for a moment before you move on like I did. All right, so there we've got our box lid. I'm caught on one of the little flaps. There I am. All right, so there we've got the one. Now, this medium box right here, you'll see this die has little tabs on it right there. That's going to show you where to cut down your pieces to make a medium sized box. So, I'm just going to cut along. We just draw, draw a line across the box sides right and this is going to get assembled in the exact same manner make sure all of your scholar lines are folded re-glue a little bit here see if I can't save a little time because it's not fun watching me fold a box. Right? right. And then we've already got another lid. So we're just going to go ahead and put that on. All right. So, now we've got our first two boxes and or our two boxes that we need and we're just going to be gluing the base part right here don't want to get any on the lid and we're going to put that right like that okay so now we can see the shape coming through on the train then we're done with these two pieces for now all right, so now we're going to make the smokestack piece. But you're also given all of these little squares and rectangle pieces. And these are all the little pieces for matting and things like that. So, like, this one's going to go right there. And this piece, there we go. This piece is going to go right on the top of the lid. And this piece would get glued to the side. All right? 
So I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm only going to be doing, really decorating one side of this train. So whatever I do on this side, then do on the other side as well. All right, so now for the, oops, this piece right here is going to go under here. All right, so now we're going to be doing the smokestack. So cut a piece here with those little teeth, and you're going to bend those back like this. And then you're going to take a tool, like you could take your scissors, and you're going to do the stripping. You can also take a bone folder if you have one of those. We want to round those pieces. And then we've got two circles here, okay? And what we're going to do is, we're going to glue this to the width of the circle. So one's going to go like this, okay? And then we'll notice that to do the little top part of the box, it's got those notches on it again. So we're going to cut away, okay, following along with those notches, and we're going to bend back those teeth, just like that, and we're going to glue the side. Now we want the base of our box to be a little bit smaller, or our smokestack. We want the, this part to be a little bit smaller than what's going to be the lid. And that's so that the lid can fit over that very easily. So keep that in mind when you're gluing these together. So for example, I glued just how we have these teeth they overlapped one tooth onto the other tooth. Glue that. Oops. All right, let that dry. And on this one, I overlapped two teeth. We have a little bit extra space. All right, now we just want to make sure that all these teeth are pushed in. Nice, right, the right direction. We're going to put a little glue on the top of those teeth. And then we're just going to place a circle, kind of like a little hat on top there. So that's going to be you know, going to be the bottom of our smokestack. Well, this little piece doesn't want to stay. There we go. Just needed a little bit more glue. And then same on this piece. You want to make sure that all those teeth are going the same direction. Push those down. And we're going to put some glue around the edges there. And put that little hat on. And I like to just turn these upside down and kind of put everything right there. All right, so that's going to be the top box. Okay, so now we're going to work on the side pieces. So that's this piece here. They're mirror images. And then these pieces as well. We have a, a black piece that's going to go here, and then this silver piece is going to go on top of that. So how this is going to work is... We might need to take our top off of that one. 
Okay, we're gonna glue this piece right here. And that's gonna also help the boxes stay together. Oh, there's that silver piece that I did not glue down. There we go. All right. See, so this piece right here is making sort of that skirt in the front. Just like that. That silver piece that I didn't glue down is having fun with me. There we go. So then you would do the same on the other side. All right, now we have this lovely little silver piece that we're gonna put right here. The base of our train is almost done. Okay, there we go. Here we are. All right, and now we're ready to put on the wheels. So, we're done with these pieces now. <laughs> and now we're gonna take all these circle bits. So these circles and things, these are all of the wheel pieces. And that's the front part of the train. I'm not sure if there's a name for that. There we go. So this part, we're only going to put glue at the top of the wheel. We don't need glue at the bottom, like that. And then on this part, you really want to make sure that you have your wheels all aligned. I'm going to show you how to do that, because we don't want this to be tippy. So you want those wheels to be down a little bit farther so that they're sitting. Okay, like that. And then you're gonna die cut these pieces right here from black cardstock, or silver cardstock rather, and that's gonna give you all those little spokes. And then this little piece right here, this little guy, is also from silver. And that's what you're gonna put right there. Debbie put little dots of gold glitter glue right there. And then she also added the ladder, okay? That's gonna go right there. So then that would take care of this entire side that we've done. We're gonna do the others, other side on the reverse. For the front here, we've got this little sweeping piece right there. It's also got this adorable little wreath which she die cut from green cardstock and then just did a little bit of darker green around the edges. And then she just used some red glitter glue there. The Santa Express is from our stamp set right here. Also get an adorable little bow, which she die cut from the red suede. As you can see, that's a reoccurring theme here. So make sure you get some of that tomato red suede. Just adorable. And then um, adding some of the garland right here on the back. Got some bells using our bow again. A cute little door. This little grate, this little fence right there. She added this little tag from our little train tags really adorable so you, you, can, you can see you guys once you get the basic structure made then you're just gonna have a lot of fun putting everything together and decorating it which is I think like so much fun so you guys we've got a great money saver on all of these collections right here and um, I would definitely suggest you take advantage of that and check them out if you're watching us um, on our vlog page then the money saver there's a photo of it directly to your right and if you're watching this on youtube then you would just look below the video in the description box you would find a link to the money saver it'll also take you to the sets individually if you want to buy them individually um, and then there's also a link to paperwishes.com 
where you can find lots more videos and fun things to play with. So thanks for joining me today and I'll see you next time.